Congressman Fitzpatrick, let me start with the basic question. Have all 29 Republicans in your caucus agreed to vote yes if it reaches the floor? Yeah, thanks for having us, Chris. Um, we, we endorse the package. So our caucus rules are that if um, if 75 uh, percent of the overall caucus agrees and 50 percent of each party's members agree, we agree to stand together as a block. Now, we endorsed this go around. We actually had our own plan, the Building Bridges plan, which we endorsed. And that was a substantive framework that we came up with. And what we just endorsed is a statement uh, of support of the Senate plan for a standalone vote. And that's the key here. That's what we want. Uh, the bill should be uh, up or down voted based on its own merits. No strings attached. But as you know, Congressman Gottheimer, Speaker Pelosi said she wouldn't put anything on the floor until the Senate passes both bills. I mean, if you get Republicans, obviously you could lose some Democrats. But it's kind of a risky strategy, I think, on both sides. And I wonder if you've had conversations with Speaker Pelosi about it. Uh, well, listen, thank you so much for having me, first of all. And, and uh, it's great to be here with Brian. You know, you something that's very rare here. Democrats and Republicans in both the House, the House and the Senate actually coming together and agreeing on something. And there's nothing right now more pressing than fixing our nation's infrastructure. So what I believe, and members of the caucus uh, endorsed yesterday, is let's get together, let's get a vote on this package, this bipartisan infrastructure package that the White House has backed and, and, frankly, that we've been working together now for months on. And, of course, it doesn't prevent us from doing something further down the road on another package, but... We've got great momentum here. The country needs to fix roads, bridges, rail, uh, tunnels, water infrastructure, get energy, uh, clean energy going. This is a great chance to get that done. And I believe we can get it done. So I, I'm, I believe we should get a standalone vote. But back to the back to the question, which is, have you had a conversation with Nancy Pelosi? Could she derail this? Well, of course, I'm, I'm always in touch with the speaker and let her know that we are working on this. And, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll leave it to you to talk to her. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you this, you know, you've got Democrats and Republicans here who are speaking pretty clearly together that this is something that we can get done. And again, this is rare. We've been working on this, as Brian said, with our Senate colleagues, Democrats and Republicans, for months now. Uh, we we're able to get to an agreement. You saw that President Biden said we should get a bipartisan package done. So I think ultimately, if that's where we get to, uh, we should get a vote done. And, and I believe we can get it to the floor and we should get it to the floor. So, Congressman Fitzpatrick, let me dig a little deeper on this standalone vote. Key to the separate proposal, what some people are calling the sec second proposal, is expanding child care, fighting climate change. Is there no support in your party for either of those things? Of course, Chris. I mean, we, we support those concepts. The question is, what is in the final bill? What does it look like? And is it uh, a product of bipartisan input? Uh, our caucus stands for very is something very simple, Chris. That is, we believe in two-party solutions. We don't think that one party has a monopoly on good ideas. Just like our families operate, our personal relationships operate, our businesses function. Um, it's the normal, common-sense way America wants us to govern. Um, so do we support child care? Do we support, um, you know, protecting our environment? Of course. I was one of two Republicans, Chris, that just supported uh, the House Transportation and Infrastructure Bill that was put on the floor. Uh, I support those, both of those concepts very much. But what we're here to, to announce today is we have a bipartisan agreement in the House and the Senate that the White House supports that should get an up or down vote. This is common sense and this is what the American people want. But when it may be what the American people want, but when you listen to the leaders of both parties, they sound pretty entrenched. Let me play for you something Mitch McConnell just said. This is not going to be done on a bipartisan basis. This is going to be a hell of a fight over what this country ought to look like in the future. I don't think we've had a bigger difference of opinion between the two parties over the best thing to do for America than we have right now. So I want to ask both of you really quickly, and I'll start with you, Congressman Gottheimer. How do you get there? How do you get to agreement where the Problem Solvers Caucus is? when you have both sides, the leaders on both sides, as far apart as they are. In fact, and you just heard what he had to say, they've never been more far apart about what the future of this country should look like. You know, everyone always uh, digs in their position before we get a deal done. In the Senate, as you know, we've got 11 Republican senators who said they would back this bipartisan deal. And we get the Democratic senators together and we can get a deal done. The same will go for the House. And, and as Brian said, you've got Republican members of the Problem Solvers Caucus, our bipartisan caucus, with 29 Democrats and 29 Republicans that will back this uh, a package like this. To me, what, what happens is the coalition 
comes together. And I believe at the end of the day, the country is speaking pretty clearly here. They want us to work together. They want us to just use common sense, be smart, and get something done for them. Congressman and that's Fitzpatrick, why I think that pressure will build. We only have seconds left, but do you think this can get done? What, what you're feeling right now? I do. Um, we have a we have a 50 50 Senate, a four vote majority in the House, and we just had our uh, 58 member bipartisan centrist block agree to support this. And we have Senate supporters, Democrat and Republican, that are behind this, and the White House. Uh, if that can't get done, I don't know what can.